The continued wave of death-dealing explosions struck yesterday at Area Defense Headquarters. As in previous occasions, the authorities are unable to detect the cause of these blasts, which have done untold damage. Who could possibly be doing this? Well, there are several theories, Joan. But so far, no one is even sure what kind of explosives are being used or how they're set off. Maybe Mr. Henderson will have some information for us when he gets in from Washington. That guy Henderson wouldn't tell you what time it is. Just what is his job, anyway? He won't tell you that either, Ted, but it's a big one. He only answers to a few people in this country of ours. I think that... Hello, Mr. Henderson. Hello, Commander Cody. Ted, Miss Gilbert. How are you getting along with the rocket ship? As well as can be expected, sir. Our tests with the model are satisfactory. If the government will let us make a few test flights with the rocket... It's out of the question. This whole project's strictly top secret. Since you people developed the rocket ship for us, and we'll be the ones operating it, it has been decided that you should know more of our plans. I've been authorized to tell you this much. Its primary use will be to combat this wave of sabotage and destruction of our defense system. You mean the government knows what's causing it? Not definitely, but tests of the wreckage show that the explosions are of atomic origin. You mean someone's dropping atomic bombs on us? Not bombs. No planes have been observed, and the explosions aren't severe enough. No, from what I've learned of the nature of the blast, they seem more like an atomic ray of some kind. Of course, that's just a guess. It's the same guess that we've made, because it's the only possible answer. But no one has ever been able to make an atomic ray machine. You mean no one on Earth ever has? Say, this rocket we're building will be able to fly to the moon. Maybe someone up there has built one that could get down here. We believe that possible. And for some time, our astronomers have been noticing an unusual amount of atomic activity on the moon. Atomic activity on the moon. Atomic blasts on the Earth. The two known facts fit together. Yes, it adds up. So that's why you want us to fly to the moon? Yes. And when you get to the moon, find out if these attacks are actually coming from there. And try to devise some plan for stopping them. In the meantime, we'll do what we can with these attacks here. Is your flying suit still working? Yes. We may ask you to use it. If a ray gun is being used to cause these blasts, it's probably being operated from the ground. And if you could get to the scene of the attack soon enough, you might be able to find some clue to the attackers. I'll be glad to try. Good. We'll phone you as soon as we have any information about another attack. All right, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. did it. Let's get over to Kern Pass. That troop train will be along soon. All right, I'll get out there right away. So give me a hand with the flying suit, Ted. The train load of army supplies was just blasted out in the west end of the valley. A rancher reported he saw a truck parked on a hill overlooking the tracks with two men in it, working some kind of a gun. They pulled out right after the wreck and headed toward Kern Hills. Henderson's office gave me a description of the truck, so I'm going out to look for it. I suppose you'll be wanting this. Yes. I may need it. be along any time now. Okay, get set.
Let's get out of here. And leave the ray gun? What else can we do? of the ray gun is not too serious. I brought sufficient equipment from the moon to build several of them, but I do not care to have the Earth people learn the secrets of our weapons. From the description you gave me of your attacker's costume, it must have been Commando Cody in his flying suit. He will probably take our ray gun to his laboratory for examination, so you must go there at once and recover the atomic chamber from the ray gun. That's a large order, Krog. We hired out to work your ray gun. This business of You were hired to do anything that I may consider necessary to pave the way for our invasion from the moon. You're being well paid for your work, so do as you're ordered. Okay. Is working on this gun going to hold up finishing the rocket ship? No. I'll just give it a quick examination and then turn it over to the authorities. We'll still be able to take off for the moon next Wednesday. Take it easy and you won't get hurt. Move back. There's the unit we want. Grab it. ship is leaving here in five days to investigate our moon. I did not believe the Earthmen possessed a ship capable of making the journey. I just learned about it myself, but I'm sure my information is correct. Very well, it is not too serious. We will be prepared to take care of the visitors when they arrive. for a woman. Now, don't start that again. You'll be very glad to have someone along who can cook your meals. I'll say we will. Don't give her any more arguments. Okay. I like to eat, too. Well, boys, that's it. Well, the best of luck to all of you, sir. Hope this thing works all right. So do we. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. We can take off right now. That is, if the ship will stand up to the test we made with the model. I think it will. Now, let's go. Safety 
safety belts fastened? Fire pilot jets? Fire main jets? Believe it or not, we are. A lot of miles per minute. She's living up to the test we made. Set a course for the moon. Right. Take over here, will you, Ted? about here. Looks like we're on the right track. We ought to be down in another two hours. There's a city just ahead. Where do we sit down? Let's take her back in those hills where we can find a place to hide the ship. Then I'll fly over the city in the rocket suit. Okay. Set her down in that canyon. Okay. direction, Earth man. Enter the first door you come to. Turn the control. The door will open. Commando Cody. I am Retic, ruler of the moon. Apparently you are expecting me. Of course. For many years our radio has kept us informed of events on Earth. And my men there have advised me of your every move. I see you have adopted our language. Yes. All our people are required to speak English, so we can operate more efficiently in your country. Do you mind telling me why your men are carrying out that campaign of destruction on Earth? Not at all. They are merely softening up your defenses for our impending invasion. Why do you want to invade the Earth? 
Because the atmosphere on the moon has become so thin and dry, it is impossible for us to raise food, except in pressurized greenhouses. And none of us can move outside without helmets. So we are planning a mass migration to your world. You will find that conquering the Earth isn't so simple. Ah, but it will be. Because of our atomic weapons. On the moon, we have an element, lunarium, which is far superior to uranium as a base for atomic reactions. And we can completely control the force of these reactions, enabling us to build atomic weapons ranging from huge cannon to these small ray pistols. It's very considerate of you to give me all this information. You deserve some reward for your long journey, but unfortunately, I cannot permit you to return to Earth with it. Maybe I have something to say about that. So much for the effectiveness of your weapons. Now I will demonstrate one of ours. 